Hi guys, welcome to another video. Now today we are carrying on the journey along the former GNR and LNWR joint railway line which ran from Bingham through Melton Mowbray, Maysfield Junction off towards Leicester. Today we've come to see a very special structure. It is a beautiful arched brick viaduct, locally known as the John O'Gaunt Viaduct. And it has 14 arches rising to a height of around 60 feet and it carried the line on a falling gradient headed north. As we get closer to the <laughs> viaduct itself, you'll see it's been patched up with numerous amounts of blue brickwork to strengthen it and support it over the years. We're not sure if we can get up top. We'll have a look down here first. So now we're at the very top, so heading that way will take us down to the junction of Maysfield Junction and that's a bit of a bit of a triangle junction so it goes in two different uh, directions. So when I visited this previously in the rain about July um, there was a sign just there, private property please keep off so we're not going to venture on the viaduct, we're going to respect that even though the sign's not there. This is as far as we're going to go so what we'll do instead, we'll send the drone over. So what we're going to do shortly, we're going to go back down the bottom, head off back towards the car, we'll get some more footage of the viaduct from the drone, and then we're going to head off down towards Mayfield Junction and see if anything remains there. So I'll see you down there. I mean the brickwork is in such a sorrowful state, just look at that. It worries me that 
this is actually going to be coming down sooner rather than later if it's not looked after or kept by any interested parties such a shame if it does go So we've arrived at Mayfield Junction um, and we've just drove under that fine little bridge and the junction is just a little way down there so we're going to see if we can get up top and have a little look. So that direction down there, that is your viaduct we've just come from. Probably a little over half a mile away. If we go down here, the trap bed will split and head off in two directions. So what we're going to do, rather than walk down there, so it looks like it is used by the local farmers. We'll send the drone up and try and have a little look at it from that angle. Yeah. 